expedition class is adventure learning. The adventure is myself on an expedition and the learning is students in classrooms sharing that adventure through expeditionclass.com. The first mission back in 2006 was to sea kayak from Hobart up the east coast of Tasmania across the treacherous Bass Strait and then more than 4,000 kilometres to the tip of Cape York. It took six months and a handful of classes followed the ups and downs through wild storms, whale sightings, crocodile scares and lots of salty dunkings. We explored the issue of who owns the coast through a specially written curriculum and we all learnt a lot about making mistakes but persevering. In 2008 expedition class took students on an adventure around Papua New Guinea by sea kayak. Beginning in Port Moresby, we traversed the southern coast and all the way along the northern coast for two and a half thousand kilometres, seeing sharks, uh, getting nearly killed by leg infections, meeting some of the most generous people on earth and investigating climate change through our curriculum online. Just a week out of Port Moresby, the journey nearly came to an abrupt end. A tropical infection snuck into my knee and started spreading rapidly. Desperate for help, I landed at a remote village, unable to continue paddling and not even able to stand up. The villagers did their best, but when I started to lose consciousness and the pain was unbearable, it was time to call for help. Satellite gear, which is usually used to communicate with students, suddenly became a lifesaver. A quick call and a rescue boat was sent from Alatau, five hours away up the coast. There were no roads and no airstrips in this area, so the relief when I saw that boat come through the reef is something I'll never forget. And back in the hospital, the doctors operated to drain the infection and put me on IV antibiotics for five days. The option to go home crossed my mind, but after two more weeks of recuperation and care, it was time to continue. Later on, in fact, some of the students raised money for the Alatau Hospital after I'd told them that they'd let me hobble out of there on their last set of crutches. The PNG project was a powerful way to engage kids because of experiences like this. The 1888 expedition in 2009 was the eight highest peaks in Australia in eight months in the eight states and territories. Leaving Hobart, my own back door, and travelling via those places without using any motorised transport by sea kayak, by foot, and mainly 15,000 kilometres worth of bicycle riding. The parts I love the most is communicating with the students while I'm on the expedition. So through the expedition class website, the forum lets me keep in touch with what students are doing in schools. And when I get a message that says, oh, Mr. Hughes, we followed your trip up to the top of Mount Kosciuszko and we learnt about the endangered bogong moth, then that for me is the high point. Mount Kosciuszko is a high point, but the kids telling me what they're doing in class is a real high point for me. Kids that come on expedition class journeys step into the world of adventure, perhaps without the risk, but still with the anticipation of not knowing how that day is going to finish and not knowing how the expedition is going to end. Uh, through that engagement of the question mark, the big question marks and the real world that's around us, they learn as I learn through the adventure. This year expedition class is going hunting for the Tasmanian tiger. One month in southwest Tasmania we're going to fly in a light aeroplane and we're going to go searching in forgotten valleys and atop quartzite mountains for the possibly extinct very elusive Tasmanian tiger. We're going to come out of southwest Tassie and fly straight over to Papua New Guinea where an old geological landform used to link us and the Tasmanian tiger in the far distant past. We're going to fly into the southern province and walk down jungle tracks to the Strickland River and then we're going to get in local dugout canoes and float down that river to the Fly River along the way speaking to villagers and exploring the local habitat of PNG and see if we can find those old links between the Tassie Tiger in PNG, which we know it was there, and the Tassie Tiger in Tasmania, which we fingers crossed hope it's still there. Kids are the best adventurers. They love exploring their own world 
And what Expedition Class does is make that world just a little bit bigger. Because we're all in this together.